everyone. Oh, where are we today? This is in my usual space. Where have we gone? We're in Montana and it's snowing outside. So this is my little cabin retreat. I hope you enjoy it because I'm gonna be showing you how I created this makeup look today in this very cozy setting. As you all know, I am a glambassador for CoverGirl and recently I've been playing around with their new Beauty You app and having so much fun with it. It's really, really cool. So this is what the app looks like and when you point it at yourself, it reads all of your facial features and then suggests products and different looks for you to try on in the app. And it's really fun because you can see these looks on your face. After I downloaded the app, I spent so much time playing around with it because first I started off with the pre-created looks that you can try on and then I realized that you could create your own looks so you can go through all the products and create any combination that you want. TBH, it's one of my new favorite things to do. One of the looks that's already on the app is Katy Perry's dressed up nudes look. So that's the look that I used as inspiration for my look today. I'm really loving the nude and neutral trend if you can't tell from my sweater also. I just think it's really chic and also simple. You can pair neutrals together in so many different ways and they really just kind of go with anything and everything. And I think the whole like head to toe neutral look is really cool too. So after you first open up the app, it scans your face and then it asks you a series of questions so it can get to know you a little bit better and what your needs and concerns are. At the end of this really quick consultation, the app recommends some looks for you, but it also allows you to create looks on your own. So I'm sure all of you are familiar with the Snapchat lenses. This app kind of reminds me of that because it tracks your face. So when you move around, the makeup moves with you and it's really, really cool. If you wanna learn more about the app, I did an entire overview of it on the CoverGirl channel. So I'll link that down below if you wanna go and watch it. Let's get into this tutorial. Jazz hands, jazz hands. I'm gonna start off by using my MAC Groundwork Paint Pot, which is one of my faves. It's a great neutral base, especially if you are wanting to create a nude look like we're doing today. Putting it on my eyelids, putting it on my eyelids, putting it on my eyelids. The altitude change is really just <laughs> making this a fun tutorial. Obviously, since this is a nude look, it's only fitting that we use the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes Palette. The app also suggests using this palette, so we're right on track. I don't know if you can tell, but this color in particular is one of my favorites. I use it a lot. I love this palette because there are so many different shades. You can create a bunch of different looks from like a daytime look to a nighttime look. And this palette works just as well as palettes that are way more expensive. You can get this at the drugstore. It's awesome. Today, we're not gonna be using this color that I love so dearly because I wanna show some love to the other colors, you know? So I'm gonna start off by using this matte color color on the inner part of my eyelid. This color just adds a little bit of brightness without using anything that's super shimmery. Oh yeah, girl, yeah. I mean, I have to say, I'm just a fan of this palette. I love it. I get very excited every time I use it. I'm gonna go two colors down to this matte brown color, and I'm gonna get a little bit of that on my brush. And this color is gonna go on the other half of my eyelid, so the outer half. And the last color I'm gonna be using is this dark matte brown color right here. And I'm gonna be using a fluffy crease brush and just putting it right in the crease to add some depth. So I'm just using this brush now to blend out the edges and I really love this palette. I mean, I've already said that, but I just think that the color payoff is amazing. They're super pigmented, really easy to work with. They blend really well. And this palette is just so easy to travel with. I mean, like I'm not home right now and it was great because it's small. I can just throw it in my bag and create any look I want. For my look today, I'm not gonna be using any liner on my upper lash line, but I am going to be using a black eyeliner on my upper inner rim. So I get that like thick lash look, but I'm not having to line up here with like an eyeshadow or a separate eyeliner. I think this really accentuates your lashes and the eyeshadows as well. I'm a fan of keeping it simple when I can. This part always tickles me. <laughs> Ooh, it's like that feeling of being tickled and having to sneeze kind of. 
This eyeliner adds subtle definition and is really going to enhance the mascara that I put on. I'm pee happy because the app recommended Plumpify for this look and I've been using this mascara pretty much every single day. I love this mascara so much and have told so many of my friends and a lot of us are using this now so we have like a little Plumpify Bay family happening. I love the huge brush on this because it really helps lift up my lashes. Now, moving on to my face makeup. You may be like, Ingrid, why is your face so shiny? Well, it's because I'm in Montana and I put on lots of moisturizer because it is effing cold outside. It's actually snowing right now, so keeping it hydrated. For my primer today, I'm using this one from Lancome, which is the pore eraser, and it's also oil-free. I just really love how this goes onto my skin because it's super smooth and it also smells really nice. I also like putting a little bit of this underneath my eyes because I found that it's really really smooth and it also just helps keep my concealer in place which is nice. I'm using the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Foundation today and this is like a luminous foundation but it doesn't make you look shiny. So I have very oily skin. I really love this foundation. It gives like light to medium coverage. It is buildable so I think if you put more on you can get like decent medium coverage. So I just take a couple pumps of this and then I dot it on my face. And I've actually tried applying this in different ways, like with my hand, with a beauty blender. And I think my favorite way that I've discovered so far is leaving it just like this. <laughs> JK, use it a brush. I'm gonna use this foundation brush to buff in the foundation. And I think especially with nude looks, luminous foundations work really well because it's a more like natural look. So this foundation just makes your skin look healthy and hydrated without making you look like a disco ball. I'm quickly gonna use my Chantecaille under eye concealer to just kind of cancel out any darkness that's underneath my eyes. To add some glow to my cheeks and also add a little bit of color, I'm using this True Blend blush in the color. Oh, blush, perfect. These have a really lovely mineral baked formula, so they're super easy to blend and they add just the right amount of color. So I'm gonna put this right on the apples of my cheeks. For some subtle contouring, I'm going to be using the Le Duo Contour and Highlighter Stick from Lancome. So there's a contour color on one side and then a highlighter on the other side, which I'm not gonna be using today. I really love this because it's super easy to blend. So I'm just gonna draw a line where I want to contour. And then I'm gonna come in with my finger and just blend it out. I'm gonna set everything with some powder so I have a big fluffy brush and my Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Foundation Powder. So, here we go. Time to fill in the brows. So I have my Bobbi Brown Longwear Eyebrow Pencil here and just gonna fill in them brows and make that brow game as strong as possible. This is my new favorite eyebrow pencil because it has a slanted edge. So it makes it really easy to fill in your brows. To finish off my look, I'm using the CoverGirl Colorlicious Lipstick in the shade Honeyed Bloom. These come in so many different shades like reds, pinks, plums, and nudes, so you can create any look that you want, but the nudes are obviously very appropriate for today. Fun fact, this is actually the color that I wore on my lips when I interviewed President Obama. That is gonna be it for today. I really love this nude look and I hope you do too. The CoverGirl app is really fun to play with so I encourage all of you to download it in the App Store and play around with it yourself. Create your own looks and have fun with it. If you do try out the app, make sure you tweet me at Ingrid Nilsson and also tag CoverGirl at CoverGirl and show us the looks that you've created on the app. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, peace. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for even more videos coming your way very soon. If you missed my last video, you can click right over here and watch it and hopefully you'll enjoy that one too. See you next time, everyone.